Hello and good afternoon CSI 257 students for the first term of the fall 2014 semester at Anne Arundel Community College. Today's packet tracer tutorial video, um, I'm wrapping my lunch hour up here so I figured I would squeeze in which is a very quick video here. Um, only a few configuration steps that need to be accomplished and that's packet tracer tutorial uh, 8.1.3.4 where we're going to propagate a default route into EIGRP for IPv4 and IPv6. So here's our topology. We have the addressing table here. And really all we're going to do is set a default route on our edge router uh, for both the IPv4 and IPv6 edge. And then we're going to redistribute that static route into the EIGRP setup. And we'll go ahead and configure and uh, verify connectivity uh, to the outside hosts once we're done. So if I were to pull PC1 up right now and try to test my connectivity out to 64.100.1.10 you can see we're getting destination host unreachable. So if I pull up the IPv4 edge router and we'll do the IPv4 configuration first We'll come to the CLI here, and I'm going to go from user exec into privilege exec, and then we're going to do a show IP route. So as you can see, our gateway of last resort is not set, and there is no specific route uh, telling us how to get out to the 64.100.1 subnet. So the first thing is to configure a default route. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you can see that it's going to be serial 010 that goes out to the 209.165 network, which is our, our internet. So it's going to be a configuration terminal. So we're going to go from privilege exec into global config. And the command will be IP route 0.0.0 and then the quad zeros again. And the interface out which we're going to travel. And that's the serial 010 interface. So it says default route without gateway. If not a point-to-point -point interface, may impact performance. And we've got a point-to-point -point interface here. All right, so that's been configured. And now what we want to do is we want to redistribute that route throughout our environment. So if I go to branch one, <clears throat> excuse me. If I go to branch one and go from user exec to privilege exec, and then type show IP route, you can see that we've got all of our internal routes, but the gateway of last resort is not set. And branch two is gonna show that same thing. So I'll pull branch two up here. And since this is definitely a, a much shorter video, I'll go ahead and demonstrate connectivity once we wrap up here. So again, from user exec to privilege exec, show IP route. And again, no default gateway has been set here, right? All right, so let's come back to the IPv4 edge. We've got the default gateway set, and it's set on the edge router. However, we now need to communicate that information down to branch one and branch two, or redistribute that information down to the branch one and branch two routers. That way, the hosts on their segments, or I should say specifically those routers, will know the default route that they're going to send traffic to when they don't know where that traffic uh, is specifically supposed to be sent. So we'll go into the router EIGRP1 process and the command is very straightforward. It's redistribute and if I do a question mark you can see there's some other choices but we are going to redistribute static. Alright so what this should have done now if I pull branch one up and I do a show IP route you can see that now the gateway of last resort is set to 172.31.6.1 and that's going to be the interface here on the IPv4 edge router. But most importantly, take a look here, is we learn the route, we learn that static, it's, it comes in as an external EIGRP route and the asterisk means it's a candidate for the default route. And so since we don't have any other default route set, this candidate route is going to be put into the routing table. So let's check something out. So the administrative distance on that route is 170. What if I were to set my own default gateway route? So if I were to say um, IP 
route and we'll do the quad zeros here and say I wanted to send that out the serial 000 interface and if I do a do show IP route now what happened to our route it's gone right so that external EIGRP route that we brought in as a candidate route with an administrative distance of 170 is now gone. So now what we have is we have a directly connected static route and typically when you're using directly connected we could have set and let me page back up here if I do a question mark at the end ah, I see it's going to show the 0 to 24 so when t with respect to the administrative distance right so the connected route has a lower administrative distance than the EIGRP route and again if we scroll up here we can see the administrative distance of the EIGRP route comes in at 170 and so obviously the administrative distance of a connected route is going to be much lower than that in fact the connected administrative route is going to end up being I believe a one so we'll have to confirm that so if you look at the administrative distances for Cisco and you look at the connected routes you would end up seeing that your our connected interface actually zero static route is going to be one and so that's lower than the administrative distance of the external EIGRP route so what if we were to do this Right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this out. We'll do Control A to get to the beginning of the line. We'll type No. So now, if I do a do show IP route, we've got our external EIGRP route is back. So if I go back into the router EIGRP one and I do a No redistribute static. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to jump on the. Uh, on the edge router. So if I type, pipe, hop back on the edge router and type in uh, no redistribute static and then come back over to branch one, if I do a do show IP route, you can see that our gateway of last resort is not set. So let's do this. What if I type in redistribute, and we'll do the question mark, metric, so I could set the metric to one, right? And that's the equivalent of a static route but it's more, it's higher than a, um, higher than a, um, what am I trying to say? Higher than a connected interface, which is always going to be zero. So the metric would be one, and then I could do zero, and I think it's going to ask for, yeah, two, three, four, and then return, right? So I'll put the metrics in, and it comes back unknown. MTU of the path with 1500. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no protocol. Metric EIGRP. And let me pull this back here. So we're going to say metric one and the EIGRP metric display. So we'll do EIGRP. Let's see if I can get this in here. Autonomous system one. Metric. There we go. Metric for redistributed routes. So we'll do one, 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 one redistribution of EIGRP via EIGRP not allowed alright so I'm not going to be able to demo what I would like to show you and that is pushing out the route with a metric of one as a as being redistributed with the metric of or a uh, administrative distance of one so that you could see that the connected route is always going to override that so we'll go ahead and we'll just go back to redistribute static on the edge I'll come back over here to branch one and if I do a do show IP route now, you'll see that this route is back in the table, again with an administrative distance for external EIGRP of 170. All right, so now let's pull PC1 back up and let's rerun that ping and see if we can reach 64.100.1.10 and sure enough, we can. All right, so we've got connectivity there. So let's jump over here to the IPv6 edge. So we'll pull the IPv6 edge up first. We're going to look at the CLI here. So we'll go from user exec into privilege exec. And then in the global config, where we're going to go ahead and do IPv6 
route. And to represent the IPv6 route, if I do a question mark, you can see the format is definitely going to be different. So we're going to do colon colon zero, or I'm sorry, colon colon slash zero. And that represents the default route. And it's going to go out serial interface zero one zero. And so that is the setting of the default route in IPv6 on the edge router. And now, and I'll just pull branch three up here. Now what we want to do is we simply want to go ahead and take a look to see if I type in show IPv6 route, you can see that we've got some routes listed here. However, no default, no candidate default, you won't see that here, right? So it's not going to show up. But we do have some routes uh, to other locations. So let's go ahead now and let's redistribute that static route off of the IPv6 edge router. And so we're going to do IPv6 EIGRP, or actually IPv6 router EIGRP1, and then the same thing. Redistribute, static. And so that should redistribute that static route for us. So let's go check branch three. Let's see if this worked. So show IPv6 route. And sure enough, there we have it. So the administrative distance is still the same, 170. It does show that it's an EX, it's an external EIGRP route, and that is our static route. All right, so PC3, we're gonna try to ping, I'll move this all the way over here. So let's jump on PC3, and we will ping 2001 colon DB8 colon cafe colon one colon colon three and we've got full connectivity all right so this was a quick demonstration very short uh, exercise here but but a very important exercise on not only how to create static routes with IPv4 and IPv6 but then how to redistribute those routes via the EIGRP routing protocol so that you've got a single static route set and that route gets redistributed or propagated, shared out with the other routers that are all part of the same EIGRP autonomous system. All right, so that's it for Packet Tracer 8.3 or 8.1.3.4 and my lunch break is over so it's back to work for me. All right, have a great afternoon and hope this has given you some uh, clarity on how to redistribute static routes within EIGRP, IPv4, and IPv6. Have a great day.